now to our Super Bowl countdown and those star-studded commercials we all love. We are on the road to the big game, and this guy is here with a look at some of this year's most highly anticipated ads. TJ, you have some favorites. Yeah, I do have some favorites, but right now I've been given 15 seconds to do oh, my no. intro to this story. Okay, go. 15 seconds of ad time for the Super Bowl will cost you two and a half million dollars. So for that amount of money, Companies are making sure they get their money's worth. They bring out all the stops and all the celebrities. That was two and a half million dollars right Roll there. Yeah. Neeson, Schumer and Rogan. We get the middle of my back. There is no middle. Williams. I define myself. In Wombach. You have to honor and own who you are, period. The lineup of super ads for Super Bowl 50 looks to be more star-studded than ever. Having a celebrity in a Super Bowl ad really kind of helps people come together around the brand because even if they don't care about the brand per se, if it's a celebrity they like, they're going to get excited about it and they're going to pay attention to the ad. And this morning we're getting the lowdown on the latest commercials generating major buzz and major bombshells. Happy birthday to you. Marilyn? Is that you? Snickers' latest installment of their You're Not You When You're Hungry campaign sees a husky-voiced Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. Super Bowl. It's a parody of the original serenade to President Kennedy in 1962. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Snickers hasn't yet confirmed who is playing Marilyn, but there's been a little bit of talk online that it might be Willem Dafoe. Richard, are you looking for these? Everyone will be rushing to add walk-in closets to their home Richard, and a Kia in their garage with this Optima sedan ad. Alexa, what's a snack stadium? A stadium built entirely of snacks. Internet titan Amazon is hoping to secure a touchdown with their first ever Super Bowl ad. Even though, you know, they're this huge globally known brand, they've never, you know, had an ad during the big game. So this kind of legitimizes them more as a consumer brand. They're promoting the Amazon Echo, which kind of cements them not just as a company that has a website you buy things on, but as a producer of actual products. And just who are these girls cruising in a Hyundai waving at? Even though they don't say what it's about, the name of the ad is Ryanville, and it definitely is going to have some celebrity appearances. Right, you, you get an audience of 120 million for the Super Bowl. Why, they're starting to release these. This is the trend now, release them early. We get some buzz. You get, I mean, we got great viewership here on Good Morning America, but we're not getting 120 million, <laughs> right? Uh, we're getting close. Yeah, up. <laughs> but this is, this is what the trend is now. And the sexy ads, don't work. Those aren't the popular ones. The popular the ones funny, are what? Right? The, the funny, right? The funny ones. The puppy and the heartwarming ones. The dogs, ones. the heartwarming. Oh, Clydesdales. Yes. I love the Clydesdales. That's been the trend. My favorite, though, from the past few years, you all remember this one? It was actually controversial, and who knows why? Well, we do know why. But it was the Coke ad in which they were singing America the Beautiful in all those different languages. Oh, this is, yeah. This is my favorite uh, in recent memory. It's, it's been beautiful. A beautiful ad. And it was controversial. How dare you sing the national anthem <laughs> in anything other than English? Hmm. That and there'll be another controversial one this year. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I almost feel like they aim to be a little yeah, controversial yeah. for this very reason. To get a little mm -hmm. buzz going. But yes, right. five, I said 15 seconds, but a 30-second ad costs you about $5 million. That's a record. This year. Wow. All right. Well, we gave you 30 wow. seconds to get your checkbook out. <laughs> uh, TJ, thank you. <laughs> thank you.